we are preserving these books so that people can do a time travel. I'm, I'm just awestruck right now. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Can you tell me your name and how did this collection start? Full name is Raj Singh Pandal. I tried to think when it started and I can pinpoint a date and a time in a year. And I won't say when I was a little kid, I got a book, uh, none of that. Um, it just started. Can you walk me through your collection? What is the oldest book and um, other important books? I have pulled out some books on the table. They are from 1756 and on. I got them as a gift. Uh, we got them from auction houses, from eBay, from different places. The older book is History of Hindustan, 1756. And then we have here is Narrative of the Deplorable Deaths in Calcutta. That is also 1756. History of Hindustan is 1768. Then Annexation of Punjab, Maharaja Dilip Singh, 1849. Then we have one copy here. It's autographed by Maharaja Dilip Singh himself. Then we have uh, memoirs of George Thomas. He describes how the Sikhs used to fight and how they used to live simple lives. And then we have a dictionary of uh, Maya Singh from 1850s. It's an English and uh, Punjabi dictionary. We have a glossary of judicial and revenue terms printed in 1855. All those um, cabinets you see around, they start from 1756, uh, different regions, different times. Then we have one volume of uh, Guru Granth Sahib, translated by Dr. Gopal Singh. Uh, I found this in um, a rare bookstore downtown Vancouver. It's a personal copy of Dr. Kuldeep Gill. She was a social anthropologist. And, and what's the thought behind this collection? Are you, are you gathering these rare books with a particular thought in your mind? Uh, the th thought is that we should preserve the past if we want to understand the future which is coming. I'm born in a Sikh family. I need to understand where I came from. I went from that great land to this great land. But I need to understand when the British came to India or Punjab, how the kingdom was annexed, how we are dispersed into different lands to the different beautiful corners of the world. I'm trying to understand those times. There are great people who wrote great books, but everyone has their biases and everyone is conditioned, including me. So when we read a writer, we are reading their perspective. When we read multiple readers on the same topic, we can create our own uh, narrative, our own perspective. It won't do any justice if we read a book from a writer and think of it as an ultimate truth. This is your personal collection, but are you also thinking about those who haven't really had a chance to, uh, to experience Punjab like you and I may have? When we look at history, how Sikh Kingdom was annexed, we became landless. So when we traveled to different places, we found new horizons. For the younger generation, uh, they need to understand where they came from. What are their attributes? If they don't know, they'll always have this crisis amongst themselves. It's uh, good to really understand your roots. What about when somebody says that, you know, why are you investing your time and money and energy into preserving the history of a land where we don't even live anymore. We all came from somewhere. It is to say a Jewish living in a New York, do not talk about genocide, do not talk about Israel, do not talk about Nazi history. It's just not possible. Where we come from, we bring every, this is how we are conditioned. We bring everything with us. Then where do we stop? Do I leave my language behind? Do I leave my religion behind? my food, my fashion, where do we draw the line then? I, I don't take it as a very multicultural thought that talk about here, but don't talk about there. How does a human forget his past? I, I really don't know. How is it possible? And yet this personal collection of yours, it's not really personal, is it? What we are doing is uh, we are trying to preserve all this. During that process, we are sharing what we have. Uh, there are some books here which are either first edition or they are the only edition. We are posting them on the Facebook in the format of PDF so anyone can read them. When we uh, created the portal, there is no donate button on the portal. Everything we gathered either is a gift or from our hard labor. And what's the ultimate goal that you have in mind? It's, it's still it's a very humble collection uh, by all means. There are two goals. One is when someone hears us or sees us, they should get into a habit of uh, preserving the past. 
Uh, it could be books, it could be medals, swords, whatever you think is important. And the second goal is, uh, by the grace of Waiguru, one day uh, we'll set up a, a small a museum in West Coast so that when we leave uh, physically, people who come after us, the generation after us, they should look at us as we have contributed something to this great land. We are still building it, collecting. We are not there yet because we all should preserve the past if we want to go to the future. We want to live in now, but we should preserve the past.